Hello and welcome to another edition of Actionpedia, a short form series designed to fill you in on terminology and jargon used by Overwatch players and analysts. Today we're going to be looking at the term dry push when referring to teamfight engagements, and finding out exactly what it means when used in game. A dry push can be defined as an engagement made by a team to initiate a teamfight, with the intention of applying pressure to the objective without using ultimates. There can be many uses of this tactic. For example, making the enemy team believe you are fully committing to the fight and forcing their ultimates out. If you can make the enemy think you can win the fight, they will willingly invest more than they would have had in order to win, essentially flipping your initial disadvantage into an even playing field. This tactic has also been referred to as an eco-push, which is short for economy push. The definition stays the same, but is perhaps more obvious as to what type of push that it actually is. The idea behind trading alts for abilities or even other alts has been a concept in the game since the beginning, and players use these tactics to influence the enemy to force certain ultimates to get ahead in the ult economy. To give a recent example of a simple dry push, we can take a look at the Overwatch League Season 3 Grand Finals between the Seoul Dynasty and the San Francisco Shock, on the first point of Gibraltar. Dynasty is a couple dozen yards away from capturing the first point on Gibraltar. Let's take a look at the ultimate disparity here. Violet has Transcendence up for Marvel's Flux, Moth has Valk in the bank, Super is approaching his whole hog, and both DPS are pretty much ready to go. On the side of the Dynasty, Fitz has ultimate ready, Marvel is a couple percent away, and both supports are coming online. By all means, either team could blow some alts here and likely win the fight. Before the skirmish even begins, Fitz uses Sights which makes this fight a good candidate to dry push on the side of the Shock. Going into the actual fight, Creative invests Nano into Marvel, and Shock loses Violet immediately. The plan from San Francisco shifts. Shock are now going to continue the dry push to force out even more ultimates from the Dynasty, hopefully more than they normally would have used. Super gets his body on point and gets himself hooked, and Moth and Striker continue being pests on the high ground above point. Wanting no funny business, Marvel goes ahead and invests the third ultimate into this fight, fluxing both Moth and Striker. As Shock comes back to contest, take a look at the ultimate disparity. Dynasty is playing Valken Dragon against Shock's full house. Needless to say, Shock systematically press Q one after the other, and the Dynasty have no answer. This leaves Shock with control of the objective, and the Dynasty out of ultimates and a minute left. Looking at a dry push may, at first, seem counterintuitive, as you can normally invest ultimates first to get the upper hand in a fight. However, if you know a fight is likely lost, or that you still have some time to contest, it may be better to take the trip back from spawn with your ultimate still in your pocket. Thanks for watching this episode of Actionpedia. Is there any term or concept that you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below. This video was made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. A huge thank you to everybody on this list, and shout out to Arknock, Sammy, Shampoo, Weeaboo, Nathan, Nate, Mav, Sierra, Foxy, Lyra, and Spartacus for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Raffi, Noodles, Marco, and Steven for being Diamond supporters. Thanks a bunch, everybody! If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below, or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Nikita, and thank you for watching.